So there's a work in progress and I'll show you the finished product. Uh, but the way I, I got I got started on this, I, I began with the dark tone. So I, I put down the red first and I didn't do any more paint work until I put the red down and then sort of sat back and then let that dry. And it was strange because, you know, like after sort of three or four hours, this thing being in the sun, I noticed that there was this sort of patchwork going on, right? These sort of dark tones and light tones happening. It turns out that um, it wasn't that the paint was wet paint had actually dried it's just that you know when you're using these darker pigments if you put down more paint in certain areas it will become darker and when you when I took this indoors this patchwork is definitely less obvious but in the bright um, glare of the day um, you know it really you could see that it was quite startling and I was quite concerned about it later what I did was is I you know you saw earlier I was using these sort of very large brushes um, I went back in with a very fine brush and just sort of feathered out um, some of these areas where it was just, um, uh, you know, there was just too much uh, or too extreme in the sort of dark tones. The um, red, the yellow that you see here, so this this was the pure color that came straight out of the container. Um, swatch looked great, so I just put it straight on. It was fine. The yellow that you see here has in fact a little bit of red and um, you really got to make sure that you clean your brushes properly too because you know um, a little bit more red ended up in this than I wanted to because the, the brush I was using I just finished doing the red and really wasn't clean enough to, to, to lay down this yellow but um, what I uh, what I noticed is is that when you're cutting them together the uh, you may, because this red is, the pigment so strong, um, to bring out just some, you know, you can see some little sort of red highlights through here. To get that effect, I only needed one part red to say, you know, 200 parts yellow. You're talking about uh, dipping in a very small, just the end of a small brush, and then adding that to a very large reservoir of yellow. So just be careful when you're mixing, um, you know, uh, you're mixing, uh, a light color with a very dark color um, you really need very very small amounts of it um, at first I I think I could have been a little bit more careful when I was painting up to these um, these zones here uh, later the um, the pencil markings weren't too much of a problem I did end up using the gum just to lighten them off a little bit um, luckily the the sort of the red was strong enough to cover it up and of course these get painted black so it wasn't too bad but yeah just be careful about the pencil hey um it cannot be too dark otherwise you, you start to see it through some of the lighter the lighter tones um <clears throat> i made sure that i didn't get any color in here because i really didn't want to have to um, paint white in these areas but it turned out that i actually ended up painting white in there anyway because um I just wanted to bring uh, the contrast between the white and the black. I wanted that to, to improve. See here, I'm just making a start on the the, uh, the yellow. Um, the brushes I used weren't very good quality, and uh, they kept exfoliating a lot of hair. Uh, but then I found that when I sort of turned them on their side and used them a bit differently, it actually worked okay. The um, masking tape worked fantastic. It absorbed the paint. You know, thinking, oh my goodness, look at all that red it's up there. It's, it must have soaked through, and uh, remarkably, no, it didn't. It worked. Uh, it worked really, really well. So, um, what you can now see is uh, the final product when it got up onto the wall. Um, this little part sticking out here is a little bit of the the uh, extra hanging wire that I left on there in case I needed it later. Um, so I put down the, the red, then the yellow, and then I did the orange. The orange was interesting. Um, uh, really didn't need too much red to, to, to create it. And um, the other thing I noticed is, is that you've got to make sure that you actually uh, mix enough pigment to put down because what you don't want to do is sort of run out halfway and then have to figure out what was the uh, the mixture that you came up with you know was it 200 parts or one one part you know it's if you so i what i did was i mixed more than what i required 
Uh, then I sealed those containers and then later I came back at the end and um, I began to then uh, retouch up and uh, rework the whole canvas again. So even though the black had gone down, the white had gone down, I'd come back again with a small brush and just sort of worked in different areas to get the final consistency. You can see just in there is my name. Um, and then I found this really amazing lacquer. I'll, um, I'll put the, I'll, sorry, no, excuse me, it wasn't a, a lacquer, it was a varnish. And someone explained to me the difference that a lacquer tends to be stiffer, whereas a varnish is, is for, a more, um, for surface, it needs to be a bit more flexible. So uh, I did a lot of research online and uh, everybody kept sort of talking about acrylic varnish. It sounds to me like that's the good thing to do, especially if you're using acrylic paint. Now the question is, how do you put the varnish down? So what I, what I did was is I ran some tests where I, I used exactly this acrylic paint on paper let it dry and then got a brush with the acrylic uh, varnish and went down on it and, and sort of said, you know, you know, will it lift? Because uh, you know, sometimes these acrylics, um, they're not like oils where they they go down and they stay down. They 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 can they can be quite chalky sometimes. They can pick up a lot of dust if you try to um, wipe them off. You can you know you can lose the pigment. So uh, I had to be really careful about that. So I made some swatches made sure the varnish worked and the varnish I found was this varnish this acrylic varnish was absolutely beautiful and uh, I didn't need to put two coats I just put one coat it was a I went uh, with a gloss you can go you can even go like high gloss there's some really good ones out there um, but obviously uh, it would steer clear of matte you really want something quite shiny to bring out the colors and um, uh, especially on a dull day so yeah, I found a fantastic varnish and that sort of represented the end. I did have to get a little bit of white paint um, and, and you know, because my border, um, I didn't put masking tape around the edge, like as in around the sort of, around right around the other side. So I did get a little bit of paint there, um, but you know, it, it wasn't a, a big deal. Um, okay, let's have a look at the, the, the next shot. You know, you can still see, you know, sort of, how the colors here came into this so uh, that's where that's where that sort of reference uh, materialized from here's the kitchen the green was really interesting that was like a combination of the of the yellow and the blue that i had and i tell you what like if if this was like one part to 200 this was like one part to 500 blue sorry like uh, uh, one part blue 500 part yellow I just added the tiniest amount of blue and it just went green straight away. And um, yeah, the green was, was fantastic. It's really, really nice. It picks up on the green in here and the greenery that you can see in the way when you're cooking, it's, it's really, really nice. So um, same thing applied. Um, all the things I learned on the other one, I, I applied here. Um, I did need to uh, use the white, um, not just to bring up the white area, but some some places I wasn't accurate enough with the black. I did use a very small brush to do the black. Went very slowly and I did a couple of coats of the black too because I really wanted the density of the black to come through. Um, so yeah, I mean the acrylic I was using was drying very quickly. It was drying within sort of an hour so I could put on like another coat and it worked fine. So. Hey, well, that's my project, and uh, if you've got any questions or how I did it, just um, drop me comments. Or if you, please, if you like the if you like this video, please like it. Thanks.